How to pretend like you're at a party if you have no friends. Play a video of flashing colors on your TV. Play this video 10 hours of people talking along with your favorite song. Please, before you go doing this, just realize who you're doing it for. People that clearly don't care. You're just honestly embarrassing yourself and wasting time. Like, uh, I, I get it. You feel left out and sad and you want to make people care about you, but this is not the way to do it. It's honestly just sad. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash sad cringe. Let's get into it. I was hanging out with a group of my friends around Christmas time. Then they started going around the table asking what they would want for a secret Santa thing. I told them what I wanted and wrote my name down. Tried to put the paper in the hat and then one of the girls just stopped me and said, oh wait, no, this is just for the friend group. No one said anything else. No one said like, hey, wait, no, he's in the friend group. He sits with us at lunch every day and he has friends with three of the five people since third grade. Everyone just agreed with her. Yeah, that one's gonna sting a little bit extra, especially because these are people you've been friends with for a very long time, or at least you thought so because apparently they're not your real friends because they wouldn't even stick up for you in a situation like this where it's pretty obvious that any true friend would go, bro, nah, let, let's do our own thing without this toxic person trying to exclude you. Like you, you don't even have to be great friends with somebody to get included in that. You're there, they could just go, oh yeah, hey, you wanna join as well? Or actually, they didn't even need to do that because you were already doing it. It's like, ah, uh, you know, I mean, I guess it's good to know that they're not your true friends, but that stings because, well, that's a lifelong friendship that's just almost completely ruined now. Thank you so much. You'll always have a special place in my heart. Yep, that's right. That's how this person got dumped. Somebody Venmoed them five bucks and found out like that. Could you imagine like getting a text is one thing. Call another thing. They both two bad ways to break up with someone. A Venmo? Yeah, I mean, that might just take the cake. I guess at least on the bright side, you got $5, but come on, if you're going to break up with someone, at least have the dignity to do it face to face, please. Boost complete. You've been seen by 40 times more people than normal, but unfortunately didn't receive any likes this time around. Wow. So not only did this dude spend money on an app that's free, but he got zero likes. So what happens now? Does he get his money back or this is really all they're going to do? Just really add the insult to injury and throw some salt in his wounds. Be like, hey, yeah, we know we, we really tried, man, but you're ugly. I mean, come on. These dating apps, first off, they're completely ridiculous. I mean, you barely get any matches unless you're like a 10 out of 10, at least if you're a dude. But th this just, yeah, that sucks. And honestly, <laughs> that's why I've never even put forth any effort into those things. Because it's like, okay, well, I'm not Ryan Gosling. So uh, I guess I probably won't get any matches. Inherit my business. Retiring business owner will bestow his six plus figure revenue business to a worthy female candidate. Business knowledge will be taught until death do us part. Six plus figure equipment assets included. A legal contract will be enacted. Huh, if only this dude like let us know how much his business was worth, then maybe I'd be down. But I, I don't see it anywhere. No, but but seriously. Uh you interested in guys? No. <laughs> uh I'll take six figures. I mean, come on. Uh, let's be real. A lot of us, six figures? Yeah. I'm taking it, dude. Hand me that contract. Questions, where did I go wrong with my love life? I'm the only one out of all those kids that congratulated class of 2019 that has no girlfriend, no wife, no kids. The only thing I got good is a full-time paying job. All right, man, I know this is really easy to sit back and throw yourself a pity party, 
but that's not going to get you anywhere except to more sadness, which sounds like you really don't want. I mean, who would want it? So I know it might be difficult, but what you have to do here is start putting yourself out there and dating around and figuring out, you know, who you are, who you want to date. None of that is going to happen and you're never going to find love if you never put yourself out there and be vulnerable. Probably one of the most scary things to do, but if you don't do it, well, then you'll just keep making posts like this that are honestly just sad for all of your friends and family to see. My boyfriend is visiting another girl's island a lot in Animal Crossing. Is this cheating? Like every day. And I customized a nice hat for him, but I've never seen him wearing it. But I noticed he had a new hat today and he said one of his friends made it for him. Uh oh, he's definitely out here cheating on you in Animal Crossing with some random person on the internet. I mean, this is just a little overbearing or Maybe not. I don't play Animal Crossing. I don't think it's that serious, but uh, this is just one of those times where I'm like, all right, you got to cool it on the jealousy here because it's, it's going to get annoying really fast, at least personally for me. It's like if you can't trust me that somebody I'm playing with in Animal Crossing isn't my real life girlfriend and I'm not cheating on you then it's probably not going to work out because it's just stressful. There's clearly no trust. And yeah, it, it, it's not going to work out. I'm here to shoot my shot because you said so. I know that I said I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it is. Bro, that yeah, it is was so unnecessary. This person already just got slammed to the ground and you just had to add on the yeah, it is. Dude, this person's crying themselves to sleep right now. And you just said, yeah, it is. You literally are out here telling people you're desperate. This man finally goes, all right, it's clear as day. This is when I'm going to shoot my shot. And then you just go, yeah, it is. Bro, you literally said you're desperate. I mean, come on. Our newest winner, Lynn Snow, won her free cremation at this year's <laughs> Banger Senior Expo. Oh, uh, no. The, the, why, why? Why is this something that you're going to raffle off or have somebody win? I mean, I get it. It saves money, but man, that is just extremely sad. It's like you go home and you celebrate. Oh, this is awesome. I'm not going to be alive soon. <laughs> like, what? Come on. All right, Modern Chodes. That's it for the hot post from r slash sad cringe. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click that link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It'll help support the channel and it won't cost you anything extra. So I'd really appreciate it. No, oh, what do you guys think about the new mic and the setup for a few videos here? I had the new mic with the echoey room, but I got some sound panels, seven of them to be exact, on the walls. And it sounds a lot better to me, but I'll let you guys be the judge. You like this, or should I go back to recording on my phone? Till next time, peace.